Hi guys, PDX Aviation here. So today I am doing uh, something a little bit different. Instead of doing my usual videos, I'm going to be uploading a vlog of my trip to Hong Kong. So hope you guys like it. All right, we're here. And now I'm in Concourse D. So I hope you guys like my new 787 video that I uploaded the other day because I certainly did. I watched it like a hundred times before I even uploaded it. I especially like the sound of those Trent 1000s. And unfortunately, it's probably the last time I'm going to hear them because those 787s are super rare. Unfortunately, I did wish that there were GE NX engines because, you know, I love GE engines. I especially like the GE 90-115B, which is my favorite type of engine. Also the CF6 series because I like their high-pitched squeal, which kind of reminds me, I wonder if our 767 is powered by CF6s or not. Crap, they're Pratt & Whitney engines. Sorry, no offense to you Pratt & Whitney fans, but you know, I love GE. By the way, I predict we're gonna have a super long takeoff roll because from the last time I checked, all the economy seats are taken and uh, there's only a couple business seats left. I would have done some plane spotting around the terminal, but you know, no, apparently I have that. Because I have too many outtakes, it took like 30 minutes to get like one single sentence to work out for me. All right, we're just gonna check out gate D11 to see if we have our A330 for the flight to Amsterdam. No. Oh look, an Embryo Brasilia. I don't think I uploaded an Embryo Brasilia in like an entire year now, but of course, you know, I'm probably not gonna upload a Brasilia anytime soon because no one on this channel likes turboprops. The last time I uploaded a Q400, got a dislike for it. Hmm, that CRJ has been standing there for like 20 minutes now. Hey, looks like their Amsterdam A330 is finally here. I think the registration was 861 November Whiskey. I'm gonna have to see if I caught that in the past. Sorry, but I had to constantly go over there to check whether the A330 was 858 or not. Cause I've caught an 858 like seven times already. Could have been my eighth. Boarding now. Now passing the frequent flyer class, and here we are in the infrequent flyer class. Wow, these seats are brand new. Pushback approved. Cue the music. All 
right, gotta make this quick because we're already boarding. Landing recap. So uh, apparently we landed on runway 34 right instead of runway 34 left. This was actually my very first time using that short runway and it was pretty exciting. I did wish there was a little bit more thrust reverse. Now since this is nighttime in Tokyo, I probably won't be filming the departure that much. So we're gonna just jump to Hong Kong. Yeah, I am uh, extremely jet lagged by now, but I could make a really short landing recap. I did not film it, but I could tell you that we landed on runway 07 left. And uh, that was really interesting because um, usually we land on 07 right. But uh, today I, I guess the uh, air traffic controller allowed us to slip by with uh, 07 left because it's a shorter taxi. And uh, that allowed us to be uh, at the gate a couple minutes early. So yeah, that's great. That's our plane by the way. Here's our proof that we're in Hong Kong. I am gonna get some rest now, so see you guys later.